Hey, say what it do, YouTube. It's your boy, Bruce Carter. I am back with another YouTube video. Now, just keep it at the title, man. But today, we are back with another sneaker review. We got a heavy hitter for y'all, man. We got one of them ones. A Dior. A classic. A hood classic. But before we get into all that, make sure, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash that like button. Comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We post videos every single Wednesday and Saturday. We don't miss a day, bro. So make sure, if you're going to be there, turn on your post notifications. Be greatly appreciated. Listen, these are a hood classic. These are a holy grail. Not a lie. If you know, you know. We got the Dior's today. If you've seen from the thumbnail already, you already know what we're here for. These are the Dior Converse. This is what I call them. This is what the hood call them. These are the hood classic, like I told you. We're here for one of them bad boys, man. So let's get this unboxing going. We got all the information right here. Um, receipts, dust bag and card oh my goodness these are one of them ones no 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 no. i'm gonna be honest these are one of those ones i say this a lot and i know y'all probably get annoyed with it but hey man it is what it is it is what it is these are one of those ones these are the The most clumsiest shoes that I have ever reviewed on this channel. <laughs> but nah, um, these are just like, these are Converse that are designer Converse that are so simple, but so loud at the same time. It is insane. This is one of those ones. Listen, let's get into the details, man. First thing first, we all know about Chuck Taylors. We already know the classic Chuck Taylor silhouette. You know what I mean? Converse is just one of them shoes that have been around for years and years and they're always going to be around. Well, Dior, which is all these designers, they decide to copy the silhouette. They put their own taste on it. They put their own twist on it. Add their layers. And they come up with a $1,000 shoe. And this one right here, in its peak, definitely, in my opinion, was worth the $1,000. This shoe is insane. The reason why I say that is because it's so loud, but it's so simple. This is a low Chuck Taylor with a Dior patch on the back with a whole bunch of Dior woven into a, a clear plastic looking material. And it's just so loud and so calm. It's just one of those shoes, man. Listen, I seen these and I said I need them in my collection. This is just one of those shoes, man, that you wear to like a baby shower. Um, you might be going to a kid's party. You might be going to a, a, a brunch, a work meeting, somewhere that you might be wearing like a collar shirt or a plain Dior white shirt with maybe like a little Dior logo on it. This is the type of shoe you throw on. This is not a shoe that you wear to the club. Like I know a lot of y'all people don't understand what to wear and when to wear it. You don't wear these to the club. These are not a club shoe. This isn't a Six Flags shoe. I seen a mother. I went to Six Flags for our own knees. And somebody was wearing these at Six Flags. She was trying to be like, oh, I gotta throw these out now because I wore them too much and they all dirty. You don't wear a shoe like this to Six Flags. Just because it's a designer doesn't mean that you wear it. You wear this shoe to a classy upscale event. Hey, if you got a little bit more clout than me and you're a little bit more juiced up to me and you're going to a premiere for a movie, you wear these. You're going to like a family gathering, like a family birthday. Someone who's of older age of you, you wear these. And you don't wear these. Listen, this is a shoe that if it, it, it is comfortable weather outside, you might have like the no sock look with the jeans and you might have a nice shirt on because the chucks complement the no sock look. There's a, love, there's a couple shoes that you can wear no socks with and these is one of those ones. You got to know how to put your stuff on, man. Y'all be out here just wearing anything just because y'all got it. This is a classic. This is a definitely a baby shower classic. If I got a baby shower coming up, these will be pulled, these will be pulled out. You better believe it. It's just the intricate details on them. Look at the Dior's, the laces, the toe, the heel. Like, this is just a converse, but it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful converse. And yeah, this will pretty much wrap up this review. We're going to put them on our foot, see how they look with the no socks combination. We're going to put the no socks 
combination on. And we're going to see what it's looking like so y'all can see what exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is one of them ones for sure. I'm so happy I got these in the collection. You always need a casual shoe in your collection. Without further ado, let's try them on over there. So these are one of them styles, like I said. If you know, you know. This is like the go-to in high school. Throw on the khakis. You throw on a pair of shoes that you know that you have the wrong fitment for your jeans. And you do one of these. This is one of those casual, nice looking type of looks, man. It's not for everybody. I definitely would say it's for skinnier people because you have skinny, skinny, skinny pants on that you're able to do something like this and get away with it. But this was the go-to, man. So this is the type of look that I'm referring to when I'm speaking about having those socks on, pulling it off with a good pair of jeans, looking really, really clean. Um, it's not much to say here, but I love these shoes a lot. This is a Converse at the end of the day. Like I spoke to y'all about before. See the here nor there. Pair of yours. Go cop you up here. It is beginning to get a little chillier out. So if I'm not able to pull off a look like this this year, I'll definitely have time in the future. But without further ado, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, what you would wear with these. And yeah. I'll see y'all boys in the next one.